Hey, what's going on guys? So we're going to be casting this game today between Mr. E here in the blue at 384 versus Carlos Vieira here in the red at 754. So, oh, he's supporting the Buster Blader picture. Interesting choice. He's playing maybe Miss Valleys. I mean, they did get some support, but uh, you know, I don't think they're viable for a deck quite yet. They might still need some more support. See a solar recharge. Ooh, a Raiko goes great. Which is, a, I think, one of the best Light Swarms. Um, I mean, Lila is a great card too, but Raiko just answers so many different things. Uh, and then Lila comes out. That's what he goes for. I guess he can go for pop one. Um, and a skill drink comes out immediately. He's not even giving him the chance to do anything. And uh, that is interesting. Uh, I guess he can point for point, but uh, he still doesn't get the mill. Um, and that's really what Light Swarm wants. And I would say just point for point because. Um, you don't want to risk them being able to synchro up with their next turn. And a foolish burrow comes out, so uh, my guess is going to be Wolf, and I think that would be quite good play because, uh, you know, Wolf can be spuffed something like that. Because uh, he can just get sent to the graveyard, and obviously, Skill Drain doesn't affect that. So I think that is a pretty darn good play. Um, even a Mirror Force wouldn't really hurt too much. I mean, it's a Wolf, anyways. Um, but it would be essentially a kind of a minus one. Ooh, a card I have not seen before Demise of the Land. Wow, that is really, really cool. That is... <laughs> I mean, who doesn't special summon now? And that's an interesting thing to run against, like, maybe, like, Gravekeepers or something. Um, okay, so... Yeah, what does it do? Monster attacks against him. Okay, I I've seen this card before. This card's actually really good. Um... Okay, so let's see what he does. I mean, he could still uh, just overpower him, uh, and he'll be able to heal a little bit, and he could still exceed. Um, so I, I guess we're playing the Reds, probably reading Savage Call soon, because it is kind of a, a long uh, card effect. So uh, if any monster attacks, uh, the controller gains 300 uh, life and uh, at the end of the damage step, and all monsters must attack and uh, destroy any monster that didn't attack. This turn, that is. Um... So he will, oh, he probably didn't remember, but he would technically gain, um, 600 life. Um, but I don't know if it'll actually matter. Um, oh, okay, our player in the blue is going to be honest. Um, from Savage, he does gain 600 life. Um, I'm not sure what deck he's playing, but I've seen some people play Savage Colosseum, and it actually is not that bad. I mean... <laughs> He's going for a get off, and he's just going to go for a beat down. And a battle fader comes out, and uh, I'm not sure. I think battle fader activates in a hand, so he would still not be able to uh, attack. Um, but yeah, he's really going to need. Oh, that's a pretty interesting combo. Yeah, okay, so we can see one combo right there from uh, that Savage Coliseum. Um, the, you know, they, they do all die because uh, they did not attack. And that is an interesting uh, tactic. So yeah, uh, there's, I don't see why Gareth would attempt would survive. Um, okay, it's cool. He's going to leave Gareth on the field anyways. Um, so yeah, everyone dies because uh, Battle Fader negates that, the first attack too. So uh, yeah, you can definitely see one uh, tactic that Savage Coliseum is good for. See if we can see any like uh, great combos because I know that you know the deck has a lot of things up its sleeve. Can uh, it probably probably has a really good combo we just haven't seen yet. Um, he's going for a monster reborn. Um, interesting choice to use uh, cards kind of early on I'd say. And a solemn warning comes out, and so he doesn't want to take the extra damage, and so we're just gonna get rid of that. Um, but what our player in the uh, blue really needs, he just needs any monster. <laughs> Uh, that'll just help out so much. Uh, our, our player in the red is just too high in life right now. Um, he's got, you know, om almost over 9,000. Uh, I think his deck needs more monsters. Oh, he, he, he could add a wolf to his hand. Uh, let's see what he does add. Uh, I'd go with Charge of Light Brigade. Uh, I think it is a quite good card. Oh, he's gonna go with Lumina, okay. Um, he won't be able to activate Lumina's effect this turn, nor until he gets rid of skill drain. Um, 
<laughs> See, I don't understand. I mean, yes, he could have used Charge to liberate and potentially mill Lumina, but Lumina's at two right now, and I'd rather get in some mill if possible. Um, or he could have Charge to Light Brigaded perhaps for any Light Swarm and kind of finished off the game that turn, so let's see if our player in the blue can take advantage of, the, I would say, misplay. Ooh, and we will see a bigger monster come out, and oh, when a turn to TV comes out, and that's kind of going to hurt just a little bit. Um, however, he did, um, oh, well, we see Solemn Judgment come out. Yes! Solemn Judgment for 100, and... <laughs> That's going to be pretty good, um, I mean, as long as our player doesn't draw Judgment Dragon, uh, potentially our player can win, and that would be a huge and awesome, uh, comeback there from 100 life. Um, technically, I believe our player, ooh, and an Honest, and unfortunately, Honest Effect activates in the hand, and Honest is too good. But yeah, you guys can see, there is a common with the deck, if anyone knows how the deck actually runs, let me know in the comment section below, because I've seen it before, and I've seen it win. Uh, I just haven't seen that Battle Fader combo, but I know that, um... Oh, it says Declare an Attack. I don't know if the attack has to go through, actually. So that could change... Because I remember, uh, I saw one guy playing with Scrap Iron and Scarecrow, and that was such an interesting combo, because the guy was playing Gladiator Beast with Savage Coliseum, and he would just negate your attacks, and then you would die, and then he'd be able to attack you directly. So that was one tactic I saw. I'm gonna stall it right with face down. Um, another Savage Coliseum, and another Skill Drain. Not a great card, but unfortunately, he just didn't have any big monsters. I think his variant might have been like a Skill Drain, maybe with Malefics? I don't know. It would be kind of good with Malefics, just because they are so huge on the attack. Uh, especially since Savage Coliseum is the uh, field spell, and you have a uh, Skill Drain as well. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian has White Dragon, signing out.